Mark, Chris, thank you. Great to be a part of the crew this afternoon. And uh, we can tell you about this game that there are two players missing because of that Gold Cup final coming up here on Fox Soccer Channel between the U.S. and Mexico. Landon Donovan, of course, for Los Angeles. For San Jose, it's Chris Wondolowski. He'll be on the American bench. But both teams get a player back from the same competition. If we take a look at the starting lineup for the San Jose Earthquakes, you will notice Ryan Johnson, the Jamaican international, played very well in the Gold Cup. He is back and right back into the starting 11. And another youngster by the name of Simon Dawkins gets a start this afternoon for Frankie Yallop's side. Dawkins has scored goals off the bench. He deserves to go from the first minute and will do that this afternoon. When you talk about the Los Angeles Galaxy, they've been the class of Major League Soccer so far this season. And a fellow reggae boy to Johnson, Donovan Ricketts is back in the States uh, or back uh, with Major League Soccer. He will be starting in goal for Los Angeles this afternoon. I think the biggest news regarding all 22 players that start, it's got to be Greg Berhalter, the Major League Soccer veteran. He has come back from injury, got a few minutes in Los Angeles, his last game. Not only Mark and Chris will he start in central defense this afternoon, he will be wearing the captain's armband. little motivational burst for the Galaxy. Back to you guys. Let's head down to the sideline and check in with the third member of our crew, Keith Blyer. Keith, what do you have for us? Mark, thank you very much. As we get this one started, I have only two questions for you. One, where's the sunscreen? This is a beautiful day. Two, can the Los Angeles Galaxy be beat? How good have they been this year? Two losses in 18 games. They've got 34 points. That's six points clear of any team in Major League Soccer. At this point, the only justifiable end of this season is an MLS Cup. Two years ago, they got to the final. They lost to RSL. Last year, they won the Supporter Shield for the most points during the regular season. In 2011, who knows? But Chris and Mark, they are on form. Back upstairs to you. This game has been physical, and it's been not only on the pitch, but also following the halftime whistle. Keith Blyer, you have more. Mark, we were told a couple times earlier this week that the rivalry isn't what it used to be. I, I'm not so sure about that. Obviously, the emotional first half led to a fairly ugly scene as the teams walked off after the first 45 minutes. In fact, at one point, the assistant coach for the Galaxy, Dave Sarakin, got face-to-face -face with Lenhart. Lenhart pushed him away. There were some words that we can't repeat. Even Bruce Arena had to jump in at one point. Bruce and Frank Yelp, the coach for the Earthquakes, were going after each other, but they did eventually shake hands. I asked Bruce, coming back onto the field, what, what can you do? He kind of gave me that look and said, listen, we're, we're a man down, and we got a field player in the goal. What do you think? Uh, they're doing pretty well so far, I think, Chris. They've done very well so far.